your beauty ravers and if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is raven and this is where i like to rave about beauty if you would ever so kindly hit that like and subscribe button to become a part of my little family here on youtube it means so much to me now without further ado let's jump on into the video hi guys today we're going over what i got for black friday Super excited to share everything I got with you. I got some killer deals, and I can't wait for you to see them. First, I want to start off with the stuff I got from Glamlight, and I did pick up not one, but two items because they were having a 30% off everything sale. I could not pass that up, guys. Glamlight is one of my favorite brands. So the two things I ended up picking up is the Concha highlighter, and this is what the actual compact looks like. Super cute. And then the inside looks like this. I will swatch it for you. Look how blinding this beautiful purpley pink highlighter is. I'm loving that and have worn it a few times since I picked it up. I couldn't help myself. Honestly, the reason this video is being filmed so late and probably uploaded even later <laughs> is because I did order from some indie brands and naturally it takes a little bit longer for them to get everything out. So I had to wait until everything came and we're finally here. The second thing I picked up from Glamlight is the donut palette. How cute is this? It comes in this little box and then you open it up and this is what she looks like. She's all squishy and bedazzled. I absolutely think this is adorable. And the inside is even cuter. Is that even possible? I don't know, but you tell me because I think so. Look how cute this is. I am literally in love with it. Super fun pastels and brights. I used it on two different looks so far, and I love both the looks I created. Can't wait to use those even more. The next brand I purchased two more things from is Peachy Queen Cosmetics. Peachy Queen is another one of my favorite brands, so when I saw they were having a deal, I just couldn't help myself. So the first thing that I picked up was the Pumpkin Spice Eyeshadow Palette. Guys, I've been wanting this palette for so long. This is the packaging and I think it's so cute. I don't know why it took me so long to purchase it, but I have been wanting it for quite some time now. I'm so glad that I finally got to own this. And now that it's in my collection, I cannot wait to create some really fun looks with this. I have not used this palette yet, guys, but I am very excited to. I will say, from just swatching it, I don't know if this is my perfect pumpkin spice palette. I feel like these tones are a little bit more corally, if that makes sense. I mean, it's a beautiful orange, do not get me wrong. I just feel like it could be a little bit darker to make it a little bit more of an autumn orange. I feel like these are just kind of brighter than when I think of a pumpkin palette personally, but I do think they are so beautiful. So even regardless of whether or not I think that it's a pumpkin spice palette, I still will love this and I think I'll use it actually a lot in summer, which is coming up, so I guess I'm happy about that. The formula is just so good, I don't even care that it's not I don't know, autumn enough for me, but realistically, I can use this any time of the year, and I still think the theming is cute. And the second thing I picked up from Peachy Queen is the Kush Queen palette, and I actually never expected to buy this, just because, I don't know, nothing against Mary Jane, um, I do not mind. I'm not really a huge fan of when makeup is themed around, I don't know, party favors, I guess you would say. I don't really like the alcohol-themed palettes either but this color story is gorgeous and with that sale going on I really could not say no so I did pick it up and I'm really glad that I did because I do think these are very beautiful I'm gonna swatch randomly throughout this video I hope that doesn't bother any of you if you want to see a video with any of these products let me know and then that way I can swatch the entirety in that video this is one of the mattes from the palette so stunning I love how pigmented Peachy Queen's formula is. It's just amazing. Right off the bat, beautiful pigment. And look at that shimmer. That is so freaking pretty, guys. I literally can't get enough of their formula. It's just so nice. These are just so, so special. I love them. Next, I picked up two things from Black Moon Cosmetics. What is it with the twos? I picked up two things from Glamlight, two things from PG Queen, and now two things from Black Moon Cosmetics. That's interesting. But the two things that I picked up are the Moon Lighter, not highlighter, Moon Lighter. I think that's super cute that they did that. And this is in the shade Glow Warm. Packaging is super cute. 
very reflective. This is what the highlighter looks like and it is very, very pretty. I wanted to try it because I love a green highlighter and this is beautiful. It's not as shocking as I thought it would be, but I do still think it's a very pretty highlighter for more of a subtle green look. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you are like, how is green subtle, Raven? But like, to me, this isn't quite as powerful as some of my green highlighters. But I do think it is really pretty and if you catch it in the right lighting, it looks really nice. The second thing I picked up from Black Moon Cosmetics is their liquid lipstick in the shade Slime. This is what it looks like and it is super cute. I made the mistake, this is on me, this is more of a lip topper and I didn't realize that when I purchased it. But I definitely should have checked the description box because it does tell you, oh, I forgot I had the highlighter on there. That is the liquid lipstick and it is more of a topper and they say you can layer it to make it more opaque. And in theory, that was a good idea, but when I actually tried to do that, I don't know, it felt a little bit clumpy in my opinion. I think this will look much better over a lipstick than on its own. That was my bad, but I'm going to play around with it some more and figure out my real feelings for it because I have a few Black Moon Cosmetics liquid lipsticks that I really do full-heartedly love. So I want to love this one as much as the other ones. I just need to work with it a little bit more. Next for Black Friday, I picked up a makeup eraser. This is my first time ever having one. It is not in this box because I've used it since and I use it every single night now. So I love it and I'm very happy to finally have one. It does work wonders and it's reusable. Who doesn't love that? The next purchase I made was from Davina Cosmetics. And this is a brand I have been dying to try. So the fact that I got my sticky, grimy fingers on them has made my heart so unbelievably happy. Because when I tell you these shadows are gorgeous, I'm not even kidding. This is the Exploders collection, and also this one right over here is Blazed. That is not part of the collection. I just put them all in the same Z palette. These are so beautiful. And I've wanted this Exploders collection forever but they're always out of stock when I try to buy it. The fact that I got these in general, but on sale at that, that's even more amazing, and I'm just, like, so happy. I don't know if you can tell the shifts in it, but holy guacamole are the shifts there. It turns, like, green to blue. And then there's a purple one that's, like, purple to pink. So freaking gorgeous. I honestly can't get enough of these, guys. And this was like a peachy pink, I swear. Guys, I literally love Davina so much from just this one order. I know I'm going to be buying so much more from them in the future. They are amazing. The quality of these shadows, unreal. Every time I wear them, I get compliments. Exploders are their Willy Wonka inspired collection. And I totally agree. Totally reminds me of candy. And I'm here for it. I am going to swatch Blazed really quickly as well because that's the one that I bought separate, and it is one of the most beautiful reds I own in my collection, guys. Do you guys see this? This crimson red is stunning. I mean, it is just so eye-catching. This is such a beautiful color. It reminds me of my nails, honestly. It is just so pretty. I can't get enough of Davina. I cannot wait to see what they put out this year. And the palette that I have them in right now is actually another thing I picked up on Black Friday. This is from Shop Miss A. I heard about them through Amy from Amy Loves Makeup, and I love their palettes as well. Amy always raves about Shop Miss A for their affordable magnetic palettes and brushes and sponges. So I decided to give them a shot myself on Black Friday because they're already super affordable, but they were even more so on sale. So I was like, why not try some stuff out? So I grabbed this magnetic palette. I also grabbed this palette. This is a wooden one. They all contain mirrors, which I think is really nice. I also picked up this big one. I picked up another big one, but it actually did not come. I think I accidentally added this instead of my other palette which was really weird, but this is a setting spray that I didn't pick up, but it came in my package, and I reached out to them and explained what I thought happened, and they were really nice. They got back to me very quickly, and they gave me a store credit of an extra dollar from what I spent, so I spent $6 on the palette that didn't arrive, 
but they gave me seven for store credit or I could have gotten my cash back but I decided just to get the credit so I could pick up the palette again because it was a cute palette. It was like a flamingo, super cute. I also picked up one of the beauty sponges that Amy always talks about because she says that these are as good as a $20 sponge from like Beauty Blender or whatever. And I kind of agree. I've never had a Beauty Blender sponge, but I do have this one from the Makeup Eraser that retails for, I think, like $18. And this is just as soft, just as nice. And honestly, I haven't used it yet, but I feel like it'll apply the makeup just as well. You never need to spend more than like $6 on a beauty sponge, to be honest with you. Real Techniques has great sponges for like five, six bucks. But this one was only $1.55 and on sale it was like a dollar and you really can't beat that. I also picked up some brushes from Shop Missé. This one is the Kala V contouring brush and it just looks like a really nice contouring brush. Um, obviously I haven't used it yet because it's still in its package. But I am very much looking forward to using that. The next two brushes I picked up are these two. This one is the AOA Studio High Depth Brush in F4. And it looks just like very nice for blush or whatnot. Next, I have this fluffy blending brush. This could be good for concealer or using it in the crease, as I would probably do. But this is the AOA Studios High Def Brush E104. Bristles are soft but also firm. Feels really good. All the brushes look really nice, and I'm excited to use them. Oh, there's one more brush. <laughs> Honestly, I've almost forgot. This is just a really fine tip pencil brush. I like to have them for more detailed work. Then I also picked up two of their eyeliners. These are their retractable eyeliners. And I have this one in navy blue and I have this one in copper frost. Next I picked up some things from Kaleidos. And if you haven't seen my trying Kaleidos makeup video, then you definitely should. And I'll link that down below. But that is where I featured these items initially because I couldn't wait to use them. The first thing I picked up was the Cyber Bronze Palette. And this palette is so beautiful. The look I created with this, it's amazing. I cannot wait to use this even more. This is what the packaging looks like on the outside. This is the back of it. When you open it up, this is the beautiful color story you get inside. I did swatch this entire palette in my Trying Kaleidos makeup video, so go check that out if you want to see the swatches. They are to die for. The second thing I picked up from Kaleidos on their Black Friday sale was the Mars Melter. This is the new formulated version. It is divine, guys. Honestly, if you haven't tried Kaleidos, I definitely recommend it. I'm definitely going to try more from them in 2021. Their products are just so nice. These two things are the only things I've tried from Kaleidos at this point. I did receive some stuff from my sister for Christmas that I will be playing with very soon here on my channel, but they are just so beautiful. I swatched this highlighter in that video as well, so go check that out. The last order I made for Black Friday was a fairly large order, and it is from Dose of Colors. I love Dose of Colors. They're one of my favorite brands. They're also an indie brand, and we love that over here on my channel. If you know, you know. So the first thing I got from Dose of Colors were their lashes because they were on a super affordable sale, and why not? So I'll show you the two that I got. These are the double dose style, and they are super cute. I have not worn these yet, but I definitely plan to very soon. And then these are the Dose of Drama, and I have worn these, so that's why they probably look a little bit funky in there, but they are so beautiful, and I love the look I created when I wore these. Oh, it looks so much better. Honestly, lashes can seriously make your look sometimes. You can throw on lashes to a look that doesn't look that great. Seriously, knock it up to like a 10 from a 5. It's crazy. I love lashes. One of my favorite things to make me feel confident. And I love having more and from different brands. I have never tried Dose of Colors eyelashes, so I'm super excited to do so because I love everything from Dose of Colors. And I love the first pair that I've worn, so I'm so excited to try the other ones. Next, I picked up quite a few lipsticks and lip glosses. These are the ones that I got, and I will go through them really quickly. This is in the style Mua. This was their Mickey Mouse collection. They also did a Minnie Mouse collection, and it's super cute. I don't know if you can see the little Mickey heads, but they're super cute. And this is a beautiful orange copper gloss. I'll give you a little swatch right here. I don't know if it'll pick up. But it is one of those slippy, slidey formulas that I love. It has sparkles, but you can't feel the sparkles, and I appreciate that. I picked up another lipstick from the Mickey Mouse collection. This one is in the style One and Only. 
just looks like this. A very nice like warm brown, just very pretty and glossy. Then I picked up one from the Minnie Mouse collection and it's actually what I have on my lips today. This is in the style Ladies First. And I don't have to swatch it because again, it's on my lips right now. In the last lipstick I picked up from Dose of Colors is this one in the shade Old Flame. I love orange. Orange is one of my favorite colors and this is such a beautiful shade, guys. It's honestly, I just love the Dose of Colors formula overall. Then I also picked up the Minnie Mouse palette. This is so cute, guys. I really love this. I made a look with it and I absolutely loved the look. Look how cute the packaging is with mini on it. I really like this palette. I think it's a very beautiful neutral but with a twist. I think I prefer Dose of Colors 5 Pan palettes to be honest, but I still do really much enjoy this palette and these perform very nicely. And the last thing I purchased from Dose of Colors for Black Friday was the Snow Angels palette. I've wanted this palette for so long, so the fact that I finally have it, I'm just so happy. It is so cute. I absolutely love their 5 pan palettes. They're my favorite. The brush is still in there, so it flew out at me. <laughs> this is the color story, and I mentioned this in my top 10 winter eyeshadow palettes. If you haven't seen that video, I'll also link that down below. But this is just a beautiful color story. Honestly, I love this for any time of the year, but especially winter. This is such a winter palette, and I know it's supposed to be one, but they just did a really good job. Might be my favorite matte in the entire palette, and this is another one, and this is just a beautiful burgundy their formula is just amazing, and this palette performs just as well as all their other palettes. I've heard some controversy on this palette, but honestly, I think it performs amazingly. And I know I said that was the last thing I purchased from Dose of Colors, but there is one more thing from Dose of Colors I didn't purchase. I know, free gift with purchase. We love that over here. So the thing that they were giving away if you spent a certain amount on their website during Black Friday was their Ideal Duos. And I haven't used this or anything like this ever. So I'm pretty excited, but also nervous. This one is in Sunset. It basically has this like cushion formula. I think it's a cream maybe. And then it has glitter at the bottom. So I guess it's like a glitter adhesive, but it's like colored. It's like a cream makeup base. I'm not really sure. I'll have to play around with this and really like let you guys know what it is, but I thought it was cool that I got it for free. Pretty much happy with everything I purchased for Black Friday. I know this is kind of a lot. I didn't purchase anything last Black Friday, so I figured I could splurge a little bit this one, and so I did. <laughs> but that's basically it for my Black Friday haul. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. I hope you have a wonderful day, and stay beautiful. Mwah.